On today's show, we're gonna try and connect the dots between expectations and fishing trips. This is insanity. How cool is that? And each one of you catches one like that, you've had yourself what heck of a trip. It's so good! <laughs> this is what we go fishing for. Whoa, nice oh, fish. Buddy. Wow. I just swallowed the black fly. Oh. oh. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Yozuri Fishing Lures, fish the best. Mercury Outboards, go boldly. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine. Expectations, as defined by the Webster Dictionary, is the act or state of looking forward to an occurrence. Hi everybody, on today's show, we're gonna try and connect the dots between expectations and fishing in particular fishing trips. Now last year, coming off of one of the craziest years in recent memory, we here at Fishing Canada decided to bring a little joy to the lives of anglers nationwide. So we teamed up with Destination Northern Ontario and Noto and came up with the Great Ontario Getaway Giveaway, awarding $100,000 worth of fabulous fishing trips. There's only one thing missing. We need to figure out where you folks are gonna go. Sounds good. Awesome. Here we go. Simple, right? What could go wrong? Well, while the majority of the reports we got back from our winners were overwhelmingly positive, the randomness of the draw revealed something that we had no idea was going to rear its ugly head. Expectations. You see, it turns out that the ultimate fishing trip is very subjective. While maybe the perfect trip for me might not be the perfect trip for you or you or you, even if it's free. Fortunately, Ontario fishing lodges come in all shapes and sizes, from the luxury resort style experience of say a Killarney Mountain Lodge on Georgian Bay, to the rugged wilderness adventures of Greywood Outfitters on the Attawapiskat River system, or something in between like Blue Fox Camp in Algoma Highlands. There's one. There we go. Oh, that's a pretty little brookie. There we go, he's gonna splash here. All right, what do we got? Oh, that is that is absolutely beautiful. Isn't that a pretty fish? That's why this is one of the most sought after game fish on the planet. People from all over the world travel thousands and thousands of miles for that little guy right there. That is gorgeous. Looks like to be, to me, that looks like a male. It's got a bit of a kite happening. There we go. Woo! There you go. But up here in the north, they'll kind of average that size, and every once in a while, you'll find one of those huge brookies that just take your breath away when you catch one. Knowing what you want, need, or most importantly, expect is paramount. That's why anglers need to set expectations well before booking their trip. Seasonality can also play a big role in setting expectations. For example, if you want to cast for big shallow water lake trout, you better be thinking about the ice out period in early spring. <laughs> oh, which also coincides with the peak black fly season. I just swallowed a black fly. Oh, oh I hate it when I do. This leaves anglers to consider a few trade-offs. Does the excitement of late fall pike fishing outweigh frozen fingers? Do warm, bug-free days of August outweigh a slower walleye bite? Even these isolated lakes, fish are fish, and they can turn on and turn off at any given time. So you gotta take the pain with the pleasure. This is all part of setting expectations. Think not where is the perfect fishing trip, but what is the perfect fishing trip for me? Oh, that is gorgeous. That is worth the trip into these little backwoods. Trust me. Whoa, okay, it's gotta go. Whoa. <laughs> Does all this sound a little too deep? No worries, we got you covered. Wow. Bingo. Bingo. Oh, yeah. Nipissing. Oh. Nipissing musky, man. That is absolutely outstanding. 
your base, the actual lodge or cabin, is the first thing you'll see when you arrive at your location and probably the last thing you'll see every night before you go to bed. This makes it a key component of an enjoyable trip and something that expectations need to be set for well before you show up in the dock. Simple things like indoor plumbing, hot showers, and electricity may not be an issue if you were expecting to do your business in an outhouse all week. But it sure is a shocker when that float plane takes off and you first notice the little windowless shack next to your cabin. Yikes! As I've said a million times on this show, I can do it without mattresses, I can certainly do it without cell or internet, but I have to have my porcelain. So that becomes one of my expectations on every trip. No indoor plumbing, no edge. Now there's a misconception out there that in order to have exceptional fishing, you need to rough it. Well, nothing can be further from the truth. In fact, some of the best fishing I've ever experienced has come from five-star operations in North and Northwestern Ontario. Some of them are even drive-tos. <laughs> Got him? Yep. He's on. I'm in. I'll get in the net. Yeah. This Drake said, oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, yeah. Get up here, baby. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> man, man. Yeah. Okay, oh, look at that. We are so dirty Whoa. these fish, eh? Oh, they're so strong. Oh, totally different than a... A northern pike, eh? The oh. same size. Yeah, yeah. You can feel the difference in the yeah. fish. Yeah, you really can. Sorry. We'll get out of your way here. You get him close. If you yeah. want to turn his head towards me, I got, got him. Got him? Yep. Just turn his Coming head. In. Bingo. Got him. Bingo. Good job, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. Oh yeah. Nipissing. Oh. Nipissing musky, man. That is absolutely outstanding. Nice job. They're so girthy, yeah. eh? Yep. Oh. Put it down. Yeah. Put back. Yeah. Take the American plan only lodges like the Hawk Lake Lodge, Lodge 88, Pine Portage Lodge, and Waterfalls Lodge. Right from the moment you set foot on these exquisite properties, you know your expectations are going to be met. From luxurious suites to culinary excellence, these places are la creme de la creme of wilderness lodges. On the other side of that coin, those who view fishing as more of a rustic experience may want to opt for a housekeeping or outpost package. Although the name may confuse you, make no mistake about it, a housekeeping plan does not mean you get a housekeeper. It means you are the housekeeper. The outfitter in this scenario is simply providing a roof over your head. The rest is in the hands of you and the fish gods. That's one of the outpost cabins here. That's all it is. It's like a little cottage, a tiny little cottage. It's certainly not a uh, certainly not a luxury lodge. It's just, this is uh, roughing it with awesome fishing. Most operators offer both housekeeping and American plans. One of our favorites is Anderson's Lodge Outpost Camps, located on the famous Lac Sewell. With four different outpost camps to choose from, anglers can pick and choose which area of the lake they get dropped off at, and are free to explore on their own schedule. I can see it drops off quick. Yeah. Although guests will be required to pack in their own food and fend for themselves. One nice big sandwich in the morning is great for a man. So these trips aren't exactly roughing it. Anderson's remote outpost cabins still come fully equipped with all the appliances that you'll need to enjoy a trip in the wilderness. From an oven to a wood-burning stove to cooking utensils. Heck, some of them even come with hot showers. Now that you've decided where you're going to lay your head at night, it's time to establish expectations for how your days are going to look. This section is what we call the service. And the things that you decide to include or exclude in this department will go a long way towards shaping your lodge experience. With many of the lodges being extremely accommodating when it comes to anglers' needs, the services you choose, once again, will come down to your own personal preferences and expectations. Let's start in the boat. How do you picture your ultimate fishing trip? Are you huddled over a fish finder, boat tiller in hand as you scan for mid-lake humps? Or are you leaning back in your bow-mounted seat, jigging for walleye over one of the largest trusted fishing holes? Well, if option two sounded more enticing, 
A guided trip is what you're looking for. <laughs> These packages take all the fish finding and boat driving out of your hands and into the hands of a trained professional guide. In other words, all you have to do is catch fish. So I'm back reeling this fish, folks, just in case he takes a real sudden run. I got my drag set loose, but I'm also bringing it reeling backwards because right now he's pulling, right? So I'm, I'm just letting him do his thing because those crankbaits, they'll pull out of their mouth so quick. Johnny, I'm going to move way back here yep. like this, here and then I can pull it. Whoa, nice Whoa, fish, buddy. Pete! Nice! <laughs> Holy, what a beaut. Did he ever eat that thing? Holy moly, that Look was Look at the surprise. color of him, too. Eh? I said it wasn't even a fish. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, nice fish, Johnny. Yeah, it's a beauty, Pete. That's, right and you on. get a lot of those here, eh? You do. Wow. You do. How is that for a guy that thought I thought, nah, it's not a fish. No way, he's not fighting at all. Good. Beautiful Temiskaming walleye, bud. Johnny, you are the man again. You put us on the big walleye every time. Good job, Pete. Look him out, bud. <laughs> <laughs> right on, man. We could go now and have a shore launch before I leave. Yep. A lot of lodges offer guides by the day or even half days which is great for those of you who just want to familiarize yourself with the water and learn the personality and nuances of that particular lake. Remember, good guides always have their finger on the pulse of that fishery. Don't know where the pike go when a sudden cold front moves through? No problem, your guide certainly does. And that's the type of information that can prove to be extremely valuable during your stay. This guided versus non-guided decision also comes into play during lunchtime. Again, ultimately, this comes down to your expectations. If you're someone who has experience in frying fish, let me tell you, there's nothing like a shore lunch prepared by a trained and experienced guide. It's so good! <laughs> Not only does this take all the work out of lunch, but it also allows you to have a snooze, catch up with fishing buddies, share stories, and make the kind of memories that have real staying power. Simply put, good guides make days on the water more enjoyable, especially when the fishing is slow. You know what, that's how you tell a good guide. Yeah. Is when people come in and you're talking to them in your dining room and you say, how was your day? And they say, oh, it was great. I had such a great time with Billy today. And then the next thing you know, how was the fishing? Well, we got a couple, but you know, and then they go off the fishing and they're talking about all of the other things that they did with their guide. And what, why? Because you're selling the experience. Exactly. It's all about the experience, absolutely. You can control an experience. Yeah. You can't control the fishing. On the other hand, if you'd prefer to cook or pack your own lunch, a non-guided experience is what you're looking for. In this scenario, all the lodge provides you with is transportation in and out of the lake, a boat to fish from, maybe a fish finder to scan the lake, and a motor to get you from point A to point B. These are usually fly-in outposts. You are one giant again. Oh my God. How are you making up with that net, Bowman? Pretty good, thank you. Best lake. I've ever been doing combination of largemouth, smallmouth, for sure. I've, I've been on some great lakes like Simcoe, which is amazing in its own for a giant fish, especially smallies. Lake Erie, of course, for, uh, for smallies and largemouth. But tell me, a lake that you can take a little three and a half horsepower and catch a fish like this. The lake, here's the lake right here, I can see it all. You fly in, one camp on the lake, you're the only boat or the only group if you want to come in with the, the place will sleep 10 people. You know what? If 10 of you boys come in here and each one of you catches one like that, you've had yourself one heck of a trip. Oh, baby. Today's hot spot is on Root House Lake, a subtle point jutting from shore, dropping into deep water. The waypoint on your screen will get you right there. The best way of fishing a structure like this is slow trolling, drifting, anchoring, or what I did throughout the day, easing your way using a trolling motor and wind combination to fan cast the shoreline. For trolling, try spoons, spinners, or hard body baits like crank baits and minnow baits. When casting, try spinners, EGB spoons, jigs, and don't forget drop shotting a small bait like a Yamamoto shad shaped worm. For more hot spots like this one, check out fishincanada.com.
This is insanity. Oh, nice. How sweet is that? Well, we purposely left the final and most exciting piece of the expectation puzzle for the end. And that, of course, is fishing. Oh, oh nice. Chops are on fire. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at this. <laughs> While many often assume that all lodges are equal in the fishing experiences they provide, this couldn't be further from the truth. The first and most obvious differences are species. Oh, he's, he's a good fish. Walleye are definitely the most prevalent sport fish in Ontario, if not all of Canada, spreading from BC all the way down to parts of eastern New Brunswick. But it's a secondary and tertiary species that are often overlooked. Always plan on focusing some of your attention on the alternate fishing opportunities like bass, pike, trout, or even crappie. And then there's the issue of quantity versus quality. This is probably one of the most overlooked aspects of fishing. Not everyone is fixated with trophy hunting. Some people would much rather make contact with big numbers as opposed to big sizes. Yo, look at them all, look at them all. Nick. Some operators like Hawk Lake Lodge and Garden Island Lodge are just two that come to mind that specialize in big fish, and we mean Big fish. Oh, look at that fish, buddy. Holy oh my moly. God. Take your time. Take your time. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a big one, Pete. Look at the scar yes. on it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 bud. Oh, that buddy. is a 30 plus inch for sure. Look at oh, the yeah, size. That. Oh, that. right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got to show you the scar, folks. Look at that. To her. Yeah, that's a big scar, isn't it? That's, and that's not that old. No, that's it pretty looks fresh. Very fresh. Wow. Would a, would a pike do that? Might have. I don't know. Something. Or another big walleye. What a Means there's something bigger down there than that. <laughs> now, can you imagine, folks, a lake full of predators this size? Yeah. Because that's what this lake is. This they're lake is all no, yeah. big. They're yeah. just no small fish. They're known for this right here and even bigger, like even bigger than this. So. This is what we go fishing for. Oh, this is man. it right there. Woo. This, however, does have its trade-offs. As you've seen dozens of times on this very show, Pete and I are perfectly willing to tough out a few slower periods throughout the day if it means landing one or two trophy-sized fish. If that is not the most sweet-looking beast you've ever seen. For others, they want non-stop action. They don't want to sit around patiently jigging while they wait for big fish. They just want to feel their rod bend. For these anglers, lodges that provide quantity as well as quality will meet their expectations. Timberwolf Lodge and KB Lake Lodge are perfect for that. Whoa, that's, that's a big gator. That's gotta be. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, under the boat. This is insanity. <laughs> hey, buddy, how you making out? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought you'd say. Now this fish, I'm thinking, is hanging out here, either feeding on this, the multitude of small pike that are feeding on the bait that's in those bushes, or he's feeding on the walleye that are down here. Probably the walleye. How sweet is that? And this bad boy is out here feeding on those things that are jumping around behind me and the walleye there in the channel as well. <laughs> if these past years have taught us anything, it's that we cannot take what we have for granted. Don't let poor planning and unrealistic expectations ruin the time that you get to spend in the outdoors. Plan accordingly, stay safe, and above all, enjoy the wild spaces that we're so fortunate to have in this country. We'll see you next week. To get to today's featured Fishing Canada locations, we first traveled to the ultra-popular Chaudier Lodge on the fabled French River in search of giant muskie. Next were two fly-in destinations in Ontario's Algoma region, both accessed by Lausanne Aviation. The first was for gorgeous brook trout at Blue Fox Camp on Kirkpatrick Lake. The second was Hasty Lake, one of our favorite bass lakes. From there, we took a walleye trip to Old Mission Resort on Lake Temiskaming. And our final featured fishing destination was Aguichi's KB Cabins on the beautiful KB Lake. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks, built to serve. Prince Craft Boats, dominate the waters. Garmin, plot your paradise, reel them in. 
and Ontario, Canada, in partnership with Destination Ontario. Close captioning for this episode is brought to you by FishingCanada.com, the gateway to your next fishing adventure.